Hello, I'm Victor Costen and I will be demoing our prototype for trusted storage using uh, reconfigurable hardware in the cloud. For the purpose of this demo, I am a hardware tester, so I receive prototypes, I run diagnostics on them, and then I upload my results to a shared cloud server. So I received a prototype and I ran the diagnostics and everything went well, so I am going to upload this file that has my detailed diagnostics to the shared cloud storage server. Now I'm going to read the file back just in case to make sure everything went well. And this is the file over here. It says that the prototype has passed the diagnostic tests. Meet our attacker. He will be demonstrating for us a replay attack. The first phase of the replay attack consists in sneaking into the server room and making a duplicate image of the server's hard disk. This operation seems innocent because the server maintenance people usually call it a backup. The problem with a backup is that all the software security measures, such as signatures, are perfectly replicated on the hard disk, and they can be replayed at a later point in time, as we will see. Later in the day I received another prototype you need to test, so I took it, ran the tests. Uh, this time things didn't go so well. So. This time my detailed diagnostics say that the unit has failed the tests. So I need to upload that to the server so that the team can know about it. And I'm going to read it back, issuing the same command as before to make sure everything's alright. So now what I get back is the failed diagnostics. And our internal attacker is back to carry out the second phase of his replay attack. He has the disk image that he made before our user uploaded the failing diagnostics, and he's going to use the external hard disk to restore that image onto the server. So the entire disk image will look exactly the same way that it looked before our user uploaded the failing diagnostics. So all the software Security measures, such as signatures, would be rolled back to the state before the user's second upload. Hi again! I'm still a tester, and this is a new day, and I'm going to start the day by looking at what happened yesterday. So, I will get my file back from the server. And this is the exact same command that I issued yesterday. So this time I couldn't get my file back. And the reason I couldn't get my file back is because there's something wrong with the server. I'm assuming they're experiencing an internal problem or something. So I guess I'll just call up tech support and complain that something wrong is happening. 